Last time we started getting ready to save changes to the user's profile, um, aka like their username specifically is what we were looking at, and also their email. Um, originally, I had planned to use this method to iterate through the database and get the username to see if there was a change made, but I did some testing the other day and I inserted 6,000 users to see what the speed was like if we searched this way, and it was super slow. Like I, like I said, I only had 6,000 users and it took about two seconds to find the username, which is obviously an unacceptable speed because if we have you know 100,000 users, it's gonna be much, much higher. So I came up with a different method to actually search the username. So we're gonna delete everything you see here for the up to the for loop and the log message here saying current username. So just delete that stuff. And we're gonna use what's called a query. And uh, so what we want to check here is actually we want to get we want to get the username from the, the text field and we want to compare it to what was loaded originally into the fragment. And what was originally loaded into the fragment is this right here. So when we set the username, we get it from settings here. So settings dot get username. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make uh, a global user settings variable. So I'll just do m user settings equals user settings and let's make this a global variable up top here so we'll go up top maybe private user uh, settings oops, settings and user settings um, actually let's do a variable section so do, oops, variables and throw that under variables and then go down and we can set that inside here so when the activity starts and the profile widgets are set this user settings uh, um, object here will get set from here and then up here we can go to user settings dot get user and then get username get oops, not user id user name and then we want to compare that to what is currently in the text field so that's how we're going to check that. And then we're going to use another method here, and I'm going to call it check if username exists. And we need to just pass the username from the text field. And that's it. So then we'll make this method. And this is where I'm going to put the, the query. So create method, put it in edit profile. And we're not going to make, it's not going to be a Firebase method like we've been doing before, because the, the kind of the thing that I don't like about using these queries is that you, you can't return anything because it checks inside of an override method. So you kind of have to do it this way and um, that will make a little bit more sense in a second here. So let's make some notes. Uh, check if at param username already exists in database. And we can do a log saying checking if username already exists and so this is this is kind of the section on the query here I can pull up the Firebase documentation just so you guys can see so Firebase I'll just show you Firebase Android query nope not Stack Overflow so here's the two kind of main links here retrieving it'll be in retrieving data uh, or these three here so There'll be this query Firebase, retrieving data Firebase, and interface query Firebase. These are the three that you want to take a look at if you want more information on queries. So um, definitely take a look at those if you want more information on that. But you can always just watch what I'm doing here and I will show you how to do it also. Okay, so we want to create a database reference and I'm just going to call it reference equals Firebase database dot get instance get reference and that will do exactly as it sounds it gets a reference of your database then we want to create this query object and we use the reference import query and we want to do get child and we look for we want to look for the node that we're interested in so let's uh, go to our database here I'm just going to pull it up so we'll take a look at the database here and um, I noticed more people actually they must be using my source code to get the package and get into my Firebase database so I have actually already created a second project to um, stop people from doing this, but they keep doing it. So I'm going to have to disable like authentication and everything other than when I'm uh, recording videos. <laughs> I don't know like why, I don't know why people are inserting 
data into my like this guy just registered today I don't know what the point of that is but all right um, anyway so you you want to go to the users node and um, we want to search for a specific username so I'll show you how to do that with a query so we want to use uh, get string rf string and then database name users to get to that users node and then we want to um, go to order by child and the naming is kind of weird here it's not like really I think they, they poorly named this because it doesn't describe really what it does so you want to now here we want to look for the field username and I don't have that string in there it doesn't look like no so let's go to our um, gets our strings here and we're gonna enter a new field uh, I got only fragment names okay so let's do uh, database field names oh actually I was putting them up there okay we can we can put it up here and this is where I'm gonna put field username username and you can put the rest of the field in here if you want I'm just gonna do the username for now and let's close that go back to edit profile fragment my project is freezing there it's still freezing okay so field what is going on here Android Studio is struggling right now it's a field username and then we want to do equal to and this is where we pass our username so I think this definitely could have been named better but essentially you want to look for the node that contains the object you're looking for and then you want to look for the field that's in that object I think that intuitively you would have thought to do like get child get string and then look for uh, that 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 actual object or something but they yeah I mean they do it this way so this is the way that you have to do it so let me close that off and we can do query dot add listener for single value event new value event listener and this is gonna be a much much faster way to retrieve this information um, so basically this this is going to this is gonna return a data snapshot only if a match is found so we can go if uh, data snapshot dot exists or actually let's go if it if it doesn't exist we know we can add the username if otherwise we can loop through the results so for we'll let's do a for loop we'll do our data snapshot uh, this is going to be a single snapshot because it only is going to return a single a single item from the database so in data snapshot get children and in here we can do if single snapshot exists then we can print out a message so let's do a log and I want to actually do check username if exists there we go found a match single snapshot get value and we can pass our user class here and get username and maybe we can print out a toast too. The toast, uh, get activity, and that username already exists. So that will be that. So here we obviously need to create a method for actually updating that username, um, but we haven't made that yet. But that's that's generally how you want to do it. This this query system will be way faster than the, what we were using before iterating through each one of the data snapshots so let's uh we still have time so let's actually just do this so we print out another toast saying um adding that new username so uh saved username and then here we're going to have a firebase method so firebase methods uh we'll call it update username update username and we just, of course want to pass the username so that's not final so we need to make that final and uh, so sort of the thing that I another thing I don't like about this query system is say I wanted to return the username like if I wanted to uh, or maybe I wanted to make this a boolean and then return true or false here whether or not the username was found well you can't because it's inside this override method so that kind of sucks that's that's one thing that I don't like about this you kind of are forced to run this and then execute methods inside of the override I would much rather have returned something and done the check that way but that's that's the, the way you have to do it 
So let's go into Firebase methods here and quickly create that update username method. I guess we can do it at the very top here. So public void update username. It's just going to take uh, username. And it's going to be pretty easy. Let's do a log here updating username to username. And we can do my rep child. Uh, whoops, get need get activity oh, context get string r dot string dot users and then child uh, what's the next child will be my user id the current user that's logged in and then we want to do child on that particular field so context get string r dot string dot field username and then we want to set the value so set value to username and that should be that pretty simple stuff um, that's good now and we we aren't going to need this uh, old check if username exists method because we're going to be using this method from now on so let's actually comment this out and you can see that it's not gray so it's being used somewhere so we're gonna have we're gonna get an error when we run it here so I'm gonna comment it out um, there's gonna be some errors but then we're just gonna fix them quickly as they're exposed to us here Okay, so there's the first one in register activity. We have check if username exists when you're registering. So once again, we're gonna need to change that. So what we can do is do the same thing. We're gonna go into edit profile fragment. We're gonna grab this whole method here for checking the username, copy it, go into register activity. I'm gonna paste it down below here in Firebase methods. Um, I don't have a Firebase methods. I don't actually, I won't even need that because we're not updating the username. Um, this is an activity, so, well, we don't actually need this either. We can get rid of all these messages. And let's see here, so check if username exists. So see, that's what I was talking about here. This, this returns a Boolean, so it's nice because you can use logic here and check if it exists. If it exists, then don't do anything, but if it does, then do something. So instead of our previous method now, we're actually gonna have to come down into this my wrap here and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to grab all of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it inside of here. So for now, I'm just gonna put it all below this for loop and I'm going to put it in the places wherever it belongs. So if the username exists, this is what is supposed to happen here. So we can cut that out. And if the username exists, that's gonna be this scenario right here. Um, if it doesn't exist, then we have kind of this other stuff here. Actually, this is this is going to be run regardless of if it existed or not. So it should actually just be able to stay down here. And we won't need this because if it doesn't exist, we, we're handling that down here. Basically, that just means append is going to be nothing. So we can uh, get rid of that. And we're going to need to create a new variable for the username because this is the final variable here. So we'll have to go uh, string... Uh, we can just go m username just just to call it something and then we can go username oops we can go username equals the final username plus append and then we want to pass that m username right here and that should essentially do the same thing for when we were registering before uh, we just need to call the check if username exists method into here so check if username exists and then we just pass our global username here and that'll be that'll be that. So that should that should handle the exact same thing. If you're confused about this logic, I'll just run through it one more time. You're you're essentially just checking the username. We're using the query, the same sort of thing. If a match is found, that means uh, this that means this single snapshot will exist, and it'll say, oh, I found a match. In that case, we're gonna append a random string, and then down here we just append the random string. If append is nothing, it's going to append nothing. If we did manage to find something, then append will obviously be something, and we'll append something, and then just add it the same way as we did before. So let's run that and see, or actually let's check um, Firebase methods. And I just want to see if this is grayed out now. That is actually grayed out now, so that should be, that should be the last implementation of that method. So everything I expect to run successfully now. Okay, so let's go to Mitch at Tavian.ca and type my password as password. So 
So that looks all good so far. And now let's go to the profile and let's try to change our username. So we'll go to edit profile and I'm just going to check the database here for a username that's already um, in use. So looks like one of these guys here has added their their information to my database. So his his username here is Heacham. I think that's how you pronounce that. So let's check if I can change my username to Heacham. We'll just erase all that. Heacham. And try to change it. Oh, I forgot to set non click listener to the check mark. So let's go into edit profile and go to the top. And we need to set non click listener to our um, our check mark image view. So we can do image view check mark equals image view view find view by ID r to ID dot probably check mark I think nope image view check mark image view save nope I can't remember right here. Get save changes in there and do check mark set on click listener and on click listener uh, attempting to save changes and then here we want to use our save profile settings so save profile settings okay so let's give that a shot again here okay so we're signed in let's go to the profile let's go to edit your profile and let's change the username to Heacham because he is in my database. And if I click on the check mark, I'm still not getting anything. Let's take a look and see what the log says. Oh, it's because I have the wrong uh, device selected here. I had the emulator selected. So it's telling me attempting to save changes, but nothing's happening. So let's go down to do save profile um, fragments. So I'm assuming that check if username is running, although I never see this run. So if Oh, if it equals, right. So we need to do if it doesn't equal. So if I've changed the username from what was in there initially. Let's run that again. To the profile, edit profile. And let's change this to Heachum. Hit save. That username already exists. Okay, that's good. It's exactly what we wanted. Let's just change it to Mitch. Saved username. And it looks like not sure what happened there because it it changed it to Mitch.Tabian. Interesting. Uh, so it actually reverted back to what my original username was because this fragment pulls information from the user account settings node and in my update username method, so in Firebase database, in my update username method, I forgot to update the user account settings node also. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this and let's we need to update the other node, so user account settings. And it's gonna be the same thing. Get the ID, find the field username, and then update that username. So now we'll uh, run that app again here. And in the database, so you can see here, uh, here's my the user account settings node. You can see that my username was not updated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that username. I'm gonna put it back into what my original um, username was. So now that matches. So now these match again. And now we're gonna go to the app and I'm gonna update it again and make sure that it updates in both of those nodes. So we'll go to edit my profile, go to here and let's just change it to Mitch. Save changes. So now you can see both are updated to Mitch and let's try and change it to Heachim again just to make sure that it's not that it won't let me see that username already exists cool so now everything is working as it should and it's pulling the correct information and there we go we have the updated username cool so I know this video is kind of long but we had to there's a lot of stuff to talk about we talked about queries we talked about uh, how to efficiently update new information and we, we made quite a few code changes if you get hung up on this make sure you check the source code compared to mine but don't do what they these guys have done don't don't add to my database and copy my package. Don't do that. <laughs> um, so in the next one, what are we gonna do? In the next one, we'll work on updating the rest of these fields because currently all we're updating is the username. So I'll see you guys in that next video.